propellant loading around the T minus three minute mark. And the second stage should finish around the T minus two minute mark. And there goes the strong back beginning to recline away from Falcon 9 to its pre-launch position about two degrees from the vehicle. And as we get closer to T0 at T minus 60 seconds, Falcon 9 is in startup. And this means that the rocket's autonomous internal flight computers have taken over the launch countdown. We'll then light the Merlin engines around the T minus two second mark. We use TTEB as our ignition fluid. And when it mixes with oxygen, it burns a green colored flame. We then allow the fuel into the thrust chamber and the engine comes to power for liftoff at T0. The Starlink okay, payload continues to be healthy. The Falcon 9 team is tracking no issues on the rocket. Weather again remains good and the range is also green for launch. And if you're just joining us, this is the 20th Starlink mission for SpaceX and the sixth mission overall in 2021. In just a few seconds here, we should hear the call out that LOX loading has completed on the second stage, and that will wrap up propellant loading for the entire vehicle for today's mission. Stage two LOX load complete. And there is that call out. Uh, you can start to hear some hissing and uh, notice some white clouds around Falcon 9. That is normal for us at this stage in the countdown. Uh, we are venting liquid oxygen through the transport erector lines and we'll continue to do so all the way down until T0. Falcon 9's in startup. We are in startup. Both stages are now beginning to pressurize for launch. In a few seconds here, we should hear the launch director give the final go for launch. Falcon 9, Starlink, LD is go for launch. And there's the final go for launch. Let's listen in to terminal count and watch as Falcon 9 takes our stack of Starlink satellites into orbit. T minus 30 seconds. T-minus 15 seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition. Vehicle is pitching downrange. Stage one, chamber pressure is nominal. T plus 40 seconds into flight. It is dark, but we can definitely hear Falcon 9. We have successfully lifted off from pad 39A at Kennedy Space Center, carrying our stack of Starlink satellites into orbit. Uh, right now, we're currently throttling down the engines in preparation for max Q. Uh, that is the period of maximum aerodynamic pressure where uh, we'll experience the largest structural load on the vehicle during ascent. Uh, so slowing the vehicle down helps during this period. Max Q. And there is the call out for Max Q. We've just passed the period of maximum aerodynamic pressure on Falcon 9. In about a minute, we have three events happening back to back. 
First up is main engine cutoff, also known as Miko. This is where all nine Merlin engines on the first stage will shut off to slow the vehicle down in preparation for the second event, which is stage separation. Uh, during stage separation, the first and second stage will separate from one another, with the first stage starting to make its way back to Earth for a landing attempt on our drone ship, while the second stage continues its journey with the third event, Second Engine Start 1, also known as SES-1. During Second Engine Start 1, this is where we'll light the Merlin, Ac Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage and propel the second stage along with the Starlink satellites into orbit. The first event uh, Miko should be happening in about 25 seconds. And there's an animation of where we where Falcon 9 is currently at, just heading east from the coast of Florida. Miko. Stage separation confirmed. In recognition. And you saw the visuals on screen. The first stage separated from the second stage, making its way back to Earth. And we have a beautiful startup of the Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage. Coming up uh, in a few seconds here is fairing deploy. Fairing separation confirmed. And off goes the fairing halves, exposing those batch, the batch of Starlink satellites on top of the second stage. Uh, as a reminder, we will be attempting to recover the fairing halves today with our recovery ships Go Searcher and Go Navigator. That after that beautiful launch that we just couldn't, barely couldn't see, stage two heads towards its targeted drop-off orbit. Uh, stage one is going to execute two burns in order to make its way back down to Earth. The first is the entry burn, where three of the M1D engines will reignite, and this will help slow the stage down as it re-enters the upper part of the Earth's atmosphere. The second burn is the landing burn. Now this is a single engine burn that will bring the vehicle speed down rapidly in order to land on our drone ship. Of course, I still love you. Acquisition of signal Bermuda. You can see in that video there that our second stage is looking good. Its nozzle is glowing from uh, that burn that it's currently in. And again, our second stage is carrying our 60 Starlink satellites to LEO or low Earth orbit. That's about 550 kilometers above the surface of the Earth. For reference, most satellites are actually in GEO or geostationary orbit, which is over a thousand kilometers above the surface of the Earth. And the reason that we have our Starlink satellites in this lower orbit is that it reduces the round trip time that it takes for data to travel between the user and the satellite, reducing what is known as latency and improving performance in activities like video calls and online gaming. And again, you can't quite see the first stage, but it is coasting down, getting ready for the start of entry burn in about 40 seconds here. It is coasting using its four hypersonic grid fins and the occasional burst of nitrogen gas from its attitude control system. And if you're just joining us, we had a successful liftoff. Our first stage is returning. 
uh, getting ready for its entry burn in 10 seconds here. And then our stage second stage one. is DSS saved. looking good with our Starlink satellites. Stage one entry burn startup. You heard the call out for stage one entry burn startup. Again, the entry burn will last about 20 seconds here. Stage one, entry burn shutdown. We've had confirmation of a successful stage one entry burn. And if you've been following SpaceX news, this is actually the second landing that we're attempting in the past Both 12 hours. continue to follow nominal trajectories. The first one being our Starship serial number 10, which successfully landed in South Texas just earlier this afternoon. And again, our first stage is designed to be reflown 10 or more times with minimal refurbishment between flights. And this is the eighth flight that this particular first stage has been on. In comparison with Starship, our Starship vehicle is designed to be fully reusable. Second stage continues to look good. And we are less than 30 seconds now from the start of our landing burn. Stage one, landing burn startup. You heard the call out for our start of landing burn. This will be about 20 seconds. Hopefully we'll get a great video from our drone ship. Of course, I still love you. You can see it there on your left. Stage one, landing leg deploy. Stage two, FTS is safe. Looks like we've briefly lost the video. Hopefully we can get a confirmation here soon about whether or not the first stage has successfully landed. Meanwhile, second stage, stage is still looking burn. good. We did Thank just you. have confirmation of our successful stage one landing. This will mark our 75th successful recovery of an orbital class rocket, the eighth recovery of this particular booster, and our second landing in the past 12 hours. Again, this is the second time no, that we've no, recovered no, a booster insertion. for the eighth time. And in just a few seconds here, you're gonna hear the call out for, uh, well, we just had a call out for CCO1, in fact, for our second stage and a confirmation for a good orbit. And now that stage two is going to coast in this orbit for the next 35 minutes or so. And while that happens, we'll take a look at this animation showcasing where we are in the coast phase. And we'll see you back here at T plus 45 minutes for a second stage relight.